hey guys welcome to day seven of vlogmas yes and i feel really consistent so guess what i'm gonna make a shake because i like to drink my shake in the mornings i still want to give the vlogmas or the vlog um energy or vibe but today i decided that i want to do my skincare empty december skincare empties and I finished a few products for the month of November and I'm going to try maybe two products for the month of December so I just want to share that with you quick and fast okay not quick quick and fast but maybe 10 15 minutes you know talking about them so currently my skin is very dry and I know that my skin usually gets that way during cooler months whether I'm in the tropical um, weather or not, there, my skin is just usually just dry. Not sure why. But I have a few products that I've been using and a few products that I have been loving like uh, intensely this month. And also a few products that I... It doesn't matter what time of the year, I just <laughs> always continue to use them. So this is what we're going to share today and I just want to make sure that, you know, I don't know what I want to say, but yeah, basically we're just going to start. We're going to get straight into this video because yeah, and uh, there's something, there was one product that I didn't even know that I had that I didn't use because I think it was for cooler climates or cooler weather and I looked in my stash and I realized that I have it and I'm so happy because I almost ran out of moisturizer. Yes, literally. So yes guys, yes, so yes guys, back to my studio setting and stuff. So the first thing that we're gonna start with is the cleansers. Okay, so I have been using this for the times when I get pimples. I use it when I get pimples. So it's still not yet finished because I use it when I get pimples and I use it when I get pimples. And that's pretty much it. I have been using this when I get pimples, been using it when I get pimples, as I said before. It's a CeraVe Acne Foaming Cleanser, really love it whenever I get pimples, okay? Acne Foaming Cleanser is what I have been loving. So it's not yet finished, yeah, and it's not going to be finished for now because I don't use it like that very hard in the morning times or whenever. So that's there for whenever I get pimples. So whenever I get pimples, cleanser. I've been using this. This is almost finished. Yes, almost finished. It clears a gentle black black facial cleanser. Been using it all of November. I thought it would have been finished, but obviously it's not finished. I still have a little bit left. I think I can use this for maybe the next week and a half, maybe, because it's a good amount of product. I, because it's so thick, because it's a thick cleanser. Yeah, so it can last a good while. So I've been using this for November and I, I'm i sure if you saw my previous video you would know that I've been using it in the morning times and not in the evenings because I realize that it doesn't really cleanse my skin in the evening the way I want it to clean my skin in the evenings. So the Claire's Black Gentle Black Facial Cleanser, been using it in the mornings, been very good and 
yeah I like it and for now that the time is really really cool it doesn't strip my skin or anything like that so I don't have a problem with it the cleanser that we have finished for the month of November is my Pyongkang Yulu um, low pH pore deep cleansing foam this is I love this I love this especially for winter months I love this this really cleanses my skin and it really gives me that clean the clean that I want without my skin feeling like it's stripping all right and my skin needs a lot of clean because even though it is dry I get a lot of dead skin my skin builds up a lot of dead skin and my skin has been irritating or my irritating my yes my skin has been irritating but my skin has been irritated by a lot of stuff my skin is very sensitive now that it's very cool or the weather is very cold my skin gets easily irritated like anything I do if I do anything crazy in the night I wake up with a little rash even though the rash sometimes they go like after one day but I have to really be careful with the cleansers that I'm using now it can't be too stripping but at the same time the cleansers can't be too you know ineffective in terms of removing SPA from the day before or, or dirt so I have to use a good cleanser so this one has been working really well and because of that I have ordered another bottle right I've ordered another an another bottle another bottle of the low pH pore cleansing foam I really like it but this one is empty so I have to purchase another one I hope you can see it on camera or maybe I can just show you a close-up but this the pore deep cleansing foam loving it or I have been loving it so far so those are my cleansers that I've been using for this month and they're almost finished now i want to talk about this cleanser i just started using or actually i haven't i didn't just start using this i have been using this for two years two i have used this for two years but i was using it on my face with my glycolic acid but it was irritating my skin because I, I realized as a new skincare as someone that started skincare i was doing physical exfoliating and I was also doing chemical exfoliating and it was damaging my skin but this is actually a good exfoliating scrub but guess what you can't really use this too much because it will damage your skin's barrier yes but this is excellent for my legs and that is the reason why I've added this to my shower routine this scrub i use it on my legs i use it on my rear i use it on my thighs i love this for physically exfoliating really really love it loving it all right and do i use it on my face i don't necessarily use it on my face but for example if i'm in the bathroom and i i'm not going to use like a exfoliating toner or anything sometimes one or two times i might use this but I don't use this religiously on my skin my facial skin because yeah it's a little bit too rough for me especially right now so I like to use it on my legs because I have a little bit of keratosis, keratosis pilaris and I love using it on my leg because I think it really does a good job at cleaning and it just makes my skin feel nice and cool and it just feels good so I've added this to my skincare routine I finish a bottle because I've been in my, on my body, on my legs. So I really like this. My sister loves it too. But I told her, Anna, you can't use this like as a daily cleanser. Because it will damage your skin's barrier. And it will irritate your skin. Because too much exfoliating is not good for the skin. And then you're using a lot of um, acidic ingredients. Not good. And she learned that. She learned it the, the, the hard way. Yeah, can't use this every day. But this on my skin, body skin, legs, under the, the booty cheek, um, behind the legs, the knees, the, 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 um, the thighs, perfect. Good at exfoliating your body. So I love that. Alright, so let's, let's go into the toners now that I have been using. I This one is the Blackhead Power Liquid. The blackhead pore liquid, liquid has been here for a long time and it, it needs to finish now. But I've been trying my best to finish it just so I can throw it out and so forth. But I have been loving this 
am i gonna repurchase it no no not really i'm not gonna repurchase it why because i prefer this over this i like this during like summer months for the um for the power liquid kind of vibe you know essence kind of vibe in the when it's not super super um cold when it's a little bit more warmer this is good but this here i like this as i said before but i would i'm not gonna repurchase this just because i don't see the purpose in repurchasing it i like it but i like something better than this so it's almost finished i still have a maybe three or four more use i'm gonna use it and throw it out but this bad boy here the rovectin skin activating solution treatment lotion guys this is amazing i love this i love this this is perfect during winter months whenever your skin feels dry and your skin's barrier feels dry and this year bad boy here is amazing i love it so much and as you can see i started using it last month and the bottle is halfway finished so i'm telling you this is amazing i am definitely going to purchase another bottle because you know winter is going to actually it's going to get rough in january february and i know that i might not have any more by the end of december you know what i'm saying so this definitely is going to be repurchased i love this it just makes my skin feel really hydrated and really nice really really loving it or really really love it and then in the morning times i usually use my skin illuminating illuminating solution love this too because it really hydrates and keeps my skin nice and glowy as you can see we just have like one third of the entire bottle left because i'm i've been using this all of december all of november so for december i'm going to be using this it's going to be finished by december i know that i don't know how i can repurchase it because this is very expensive like maybe 30 us dollars but i'm going to try my best if i can repurchase it i will repurchase it. i love the skill the element i love this i love this line because it just really gets my skin like nice and hydrated and it just gives me this nice glow and i like how it feels on my skin whenever i do my skincare in the mornings really love it all right good and then the next thing that we've been using also is the mandelic prep water whenever i'm not using my bad boy here glycolic acid your girl is using a mandelic acid and as you can see the mandelic acid is almost halfway finished so i'm telling you i have been using i use my skincare products because i know that it they have benefits so yes guys i have been loving this the mandelic prep uh skin water love this as i said before i use it whenever i'm not using my glycolic acid toner okay love this really love this because it if i don't want to go ham with my exfoliating i can always go to this because i know that it's not going to damage my skin barrier and that's not that's something that i don't want to do during this season because when your skin barrier is damaged during winter trust me it's not pretty you're gonna get a lot of irritations a lot of little fine bumps all over your face you don't want that like that is not it at all all right and the next thing i have been using and i'm still using is my glycolic acid toner but i'm going to have a specific video using this product product and you're gonna see me using it but wait for that video i'm gonna talk more about this the glycolic acid toner and so forth but i'm going to leave that video for a special you know special that's a special vlogmas episode of vlogmas okay yes because i've been using it i've been using it okay i've been using that's all i'm gonna say i've been using it but it has been amazing i love my glycolic acid and i don't ever want to stop using it because it just does wonders for my skin so those are all the toners that i currently am using and some of them are finished and yeah we just have one two three four toners that we are currently using one is a little bit more gentler than one one i use one in the mornings or i use both of them in the mornings for example this the, the rovectin and the skin activating solution and then i use the the glycolic acid and the mandelic acid maybe once a week yeah once a week each of them once a week all right 
so that's it for the toner that's it for the cleanser that's it, that's it for the toners all right so let's move on to now my creams so the two creams that i currently am using are the azelic acid and the glycolic acid cream this i have been loving every single time i go on um yes style i check to see if the glycolic acid cream from apio if it's there yes i check to see if it's there because i'm like i like this i like this and i've been checking off lately and i realized that it's always out of stock i love this i love using this i don't know there's something about it that agrees with my skin my skin likes it my skin doesn't feel irritated whenever i use this especially when i use this with my spf i don't have any problem it just does something good to my skin i feel like my skin my pores are a little bit more tighter and my skin feels a little bit more cleaner and hydrated at the same time it doesn't feel dry so i really like the glycolic acid cream from apio it's almost finished but i think it can go for the rest of december and maybe by december it's going to be finished but i've been using this still not empty but i've been loving it so far and i'm only talking about the stuff that i love so far and what i finish azelic acid as i said before whenever i get pimples those look pimples all of them pimples i'm gonna like this is what i pull for this here and it has been doing an amazing job love my azelic acid wouldn't trade it for the world all right so those are the creams that i'm currently using and then for the serums that i use very often is the pear serum and it's halfway finish yes started using it in december halfway finish really like really love the hydration that it gives it i wouldn't say that it gives me a lot of hydration i think that this would be good even if you use it in warmer weathers yeah it's it would still be Mm, what should i say it would still be effective and it would make your skin feel sticky and so forth but i think that if i was supposed to use this as a hydrating serum by itself it wouldn't be enough because it doesn't really offer me a lot of hydration especially now that my skin is extremely dry but i think it's effective if you want to use it during um fall or let's say warm spring months like during spring i think this is perfect during spring if you want hydration all right i don't know how it works for hyperpigmentation but i don't know i don't know i can't speak to hyperpigmentation but i'm talking about hydration when it comes to hydration i think this will do a good job all right so that's the serum now when it comes to my caffeine solution as you can see my caffeine solution is halfway finished so it's gonna last for the rest of december january i might have to pull out another bottle and you know that i have my extras stored up because i love caffeine solution so this is it the caffeine solution and still not finished halfway finished and oh i told you last month that this was finished ascorbic eight percent it's completely finished now nothing is in the bottle last month i had a little tip in there and i was waiting for it to finish but nothing is in the bottle now so yeah then the next thing that we are still not yet finished with is my plant derived hemisqualine it's i still have maybe a third of the entire bottle left so that's good i always use it on my neck to hydrate it and so forth really love it this has been a staple in my skincare routine from the ordinary plant derived plant derived hemisqualine i like it then the next thing is my granactive retinoid two percent emulsion this one is also is it i can't even tell this one is halfway finished i've really been loving this i i really love this i love how it smells i love how it feels after i apply it to my skin i love how i feel when i wake up in the mornings with it it really makes my skin feel like the texture if if there's a pimple that wants to develop it always just the pimple always just the size or the swelling it just reduces so i don't know how this works but it works of course it's retinol retinol does a job the, a very good job at exfoliating the dead skin and it also helps to treat hyperpigmentation fine line wrinkling and it makes the skin a little bit tighter so it's smoothing the skin so if the skin is bumpy and 
old and wrinkled it really increases the, 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 the collagen in the skin makes the skin tighter firmer and it looks better and it also feels better so I've been using this and I've been loving the Grand Active Retinoid 2% plus emulsion and I think the inky list ha also the one that they have is pretty much the same thing as this it smells the same the experience is the same everything is the same all right so I have another empty I should have dealt with this from morning but this is my Farmacked deep cleansing oil. This is a Japanese cleansing oil. As I said before, this bottle, the Gentle Black Fresh Cleanser cleansing oil from Claire's, I just use the bottle just to store the product. But this is a Farmacked deep cleansing oil. It's finished. I just have a little bit, so I'm going to purchase another one and pour it in here to recycle. So that's it for the cleansing oil. I think I want to start using more cleansing balms because I realize that I like it. Because the cleansing oil sometimes it can be messy. And sometimes I want to do my skincare while I'm sitting down in the living room. And sometimes the oil does get everywhere. I mean, even though it's easy to wash off, but yeah. Right now I kind of want to use cleansing balms. All right, so I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll, I'll purchase the Pharma Deep Cleansing Oil if I can't get a cleansing, cleansing balm. But I might get the I'm from Deep Cleansing, the cleansing balm. I like the I'm from the cleansing balm. So I might go on your style and check it out to see if I can get one. If I can't, I just immediately have to purchase my Pharma Deep Cleansing Oil because that's readily available. Because it's a Japanese um, cleansing balm or cleansing oil. Then the next thing I have been religiously using, like almost every morning, <laughs> is this elascorbic powder. And I'm sure, I'm sure, like I think some maybe Vlogmas Day Five, I showed you this, the elascorbic powder, and how I've been using it and how it has been working. As I said before in my previous video, you can go and check it out if you want to use this. There is a measuring spoon that comes with it and you must double the amount of product that you use on your skin in order for this to really, you know, so your face is not white. Because if you don't use it properly, your face is going to be white and patchy in certain areas. And when you apply your sunscreen, it's going to be white and patchy and it's just going to look weird. People are going to ask what's wrong with your face or what's that on your face and you don't want, you know? Yeah. So I like this. I love just the fact that it is helping my skin. It is helping me to protect my skin from the UV rays, UV damages. So while I'm using this with my moisturizer, I use my SPF. So I'm getting double protection. So I love this. I've been using this. Really been loving this. No problem so far. Yes, guys. So as I was saying, yes, I really love this bad boy here because of what it does to my skin and my skin really loves it. My skin doesn't have any problems with it. I know how to use it now. So... I don't have a problem my skin is being protected and I am happy about that all right so the last two things that we're gonna talk about is my moisturizers I know that you've seen that I have been using this here and I said that it is an all-over lotion on your face and on your body I've been using it on my body a lot and on my face I like it I like it it does a good job at moisturizing my skin I like it I love the f how it moisturizes my body skin too and moisturizes my face to be honest and you get a lot of product it's 250 ml 8 ounce 8.45 ounce so I like it I realize that I like it I love how it smells and I love how it feels on my skin I love how it hydrates my body skin and my face so for the all for all of um, November I've been using this even currently I'm still using this I used on my body and I used on my face but after checking in my stash for some moisturizers I'm like oh, I'm running out of moisturizers. I don't have any moisturizers. I saw this one this is also the clears um, rich moist soothing cream this one is more what do you say now this one is more concentrated more concentrated than this because this is actually for your face even though this is for face to but face and body but this guys is the exact same thing as this i was just checking the ingredients and everything i'm like but this is almost the same thing as this this is just a little bit more concentrated but it has basically the same ingredients like literally the same ingredients like i was checking it like almost the same ingredients but this is just more concentrated so it's very lightweight and it 
really com it's really comforting on the skin so this is what we're going to be using for um december on the face on the face skin so you're gonna be you're gonna be seeing me using this the claire's rich moist soothing cream right and i'm still trying to figure out if i'm going to get the snail mucin I just wanted to finish all my moisturizers. I just want to finish all the products that I have. I don't want to be buying products on top of products. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to be using this. I like this. It has no fragrance whatsoever. It smells exactly like this one. Yes. And it smells like most of my Korean moisturizers. It's very thick, thick enough for the season. So I know that it is going to be really nice. All right and it gives your skin this nice hydrated feel nice hydrated look and i really really like it so yeah these are the moisturizers that i'm currently using and the new moisturizer that i'm going to be using and i still have to figure out if i want to repurchase the um the 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 the, 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 the what's that one the snail mucin all right and the last thing is for my spf i've been using the sun sun cut uv protect gel love love this guess what this has become this has topped all my spfs yes it has topped all my spf because i don't know it just works so well and i can use it with various even the azelic acid i can use it with without getting the little crazy thing that i sometimes get whenever i use my azelic acid with spf sometimes i get like a balling effect because it doesn't blend well with the certain spf but it doesn't do that with this one so i think this is slowly becoming one of my favorite spfs so far all right and then for body spf i don't really use a lot of body spf because i cover up all the times i cover up from head to toe because it's so cold you know what i'm saying yes so this is the spf we're using and that's pretty much everything for the skincare that i'm using for this month or that i have emptied i haven't really emptied anything but the cleanser and as i said before i'm going to get it another one and the pharma the cleansing oil so it's a cleanser and a cleansing oil that's just these are like the main the two things that i use are like a lot because i use them every single day so i have to get like a lot of cleansers that i realize currently but these are my current skincare routine my skincare will not change it's going to be pretty much the same thing and uh, i use this the gleaming um vitamin c clay mask i use this like once sometimes twice a, not not once or twice a week like twice a month yeah or three times a month depending how, depending on how my skin feels so I, I like to do a little bit of this sometimes every, sometimes every week sometimes not every week but I like to do a little bit of this because sometimes it, it, it's good to like detox the skin and to you know prepare the skin again allow the skin especially on Saturdays Friday nights and so forth I like to do my little skincare you know ritual on Saturdays just so that my skin can you know be prepared for Monday again because I put my skin through a lot of stress during the week for work for school for everything just at night the fact that I don't sleep like early and so forth I put my skin through a lot of stress so sometimes I like to detox it and I like to you know bring it back to its natural self but this is it for me guys i know this video was extremely long and so forth but i know that you appreciate it because it's a vlogmas and i'm giving you a little bit of skincare content incorporated into the vlogs but today was really mostly concentrated on my first love skincare i love taking care of my skin and so forth i just want to spend some time today vlogmas day seven to just talk about skin and skincare and what i'm currently using so you can know what is going on with your girl's skin and i know that i don't really look dulled up and so forth but it's fine we don't always have to be dulled up and it's going to be a busy day so i know that you don't mind you know me and not I need to change my hairstyle pretty soon guys I'm gonna get a new hairstyle very soon and I've been wearing this since October October or yeah October since October October the 17th I think 
so I need to change it up now it's all it's December now I can't let next week touch down and I'm still wearing this hairstyle well probably next week will come and I'm still going to be wearing it but you know pretty soon I'll get my nice little Christmas hairstyle yes guys but this is it for your girl vlogmas day seven see you tomorrow and i know that you see some lights shining in the background and i'm sure you know what that is that is a christmas tree but this is just this is not the christmas tree i just i was trying to so i unboxed it on camera but i didn't decorate it yet because i'm like i have to try to see what i like before I start decorating it but I try to decorate it so it's still going but I'm going to pull everything down because I don't like how it looks and then I'm going to redecorate it on camera so you can see it you know in all this glory but this is it for me I don't want to talk too much this is it for me see you in the next video bye bye